KickServe tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video on how to use KickServe. KickServe is a cloud-based software that helps businesses manage and streamline their workflow. It offers features such as appointment scheduling, customer management, invoicing, and more. With KickServe, you can easily keep track of your team's tasks and progress, as well as communicate with clients. In this tutorial, we will discuss the basics of using KickServe for your business needs. We will show you how to create an account, provide an overview of the dashboard, demonstrate how to add a contact, and guide you on adding a job in KickServe. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using KickServe, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct homepage. Once you're on the homepage, look for the Sign Up for Free button, also situated in the top right corner of the webpage. Clicking this button will direct you to the registration page. Here, you'll need to provide some basic information, including your company name, your full name, work email, mobile number, and a new username and password. After filling out all the fields, click on the Sign Up button to finish creating your account. The process may take a few minutes, but once completed, you'll automatically be directed to your new KickServe account dashboard. The dashboard serves as the control center of KickServe, providing you with access to all the features and functions the platform has to offer. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find a vertical menu consisting of the main tabs, Dashboard, Jobs, Planner, Customers, Reports, Settings, Messages, Recent Activity, and Profile. The dashboard offers a holistic view of your business operations, presenting key insights and updates in real time. It helps you track team productivity, monitor work progress, and oversee any outstanding invoices or issues. Under the Jobs tab, you can manage all job-related activities. This includes tracking opportunities or potential jobs, managing ongoing jobs, and creating and selling invoices to clients once jobs are completed. The Planner tab is your scheduling hub. This is where you can view your team's schedule, add new events to the calendar, dispatch resources, and visualize your team's location on a map, which is particularly useful for businesses with field service operations. The Customers tab enables you to manage all customer-related information. You can add new customers, view their job history and contact details, and manage your interactions with them. The Reports tab provides in-depth analytics about various aspects of your business. You can generate and view reports on job performance, finances, customer behavior, and more. The Settings tab allows you to customize your KickServe experience. Here, you can manage your account details, adjust your notification preferences, set up integrations with other applications, and more. The Messages tab houses your business's internal communication. It's a centralized location to send, receive, and manage messages between team members. The Recent Activity tab is a log of all recent actions taken within your KickServe account. It helps keep track of changes and actions, enhancing accountability within your team. Finally, the Profile tab is where you can manage personal user settings. It's where you can update your personal details, adjust your user preferences, and change your password. By understanding each of these tabs and their functions, you'll be able to fully utilize KickServe's capabilities and manage your business operations more effectively. Now, let's see how to add a contact in KickServe. Understanding how to add a contact in KickServe is crucial to managing your customer interactions and ensuring smooth business operations. Each contact you add represents a potential or existing customer, a vital entity for your business. To add a contact in KickServe, navigate to the left menu and click on the More option then select the Customer option. This action will take you to the page where you can view your existing contacts. To add a new contact, click on the Add a Contact button located at the top right side of the page. You'll then be directed to a new page where you'll be prompted to enter information related to the contact. Here, you'll need to select if the contact is a person or a company. Following this, you'll need to provide contact information, such as full name, phone number, and email address. If you wish to add another phone number or another email for the contact, you can do so by clicking on the plus add another phone or plus add another email options respectively. Next, you'll need to add the service address, which includes fields such as address 1, 
address two, city, state, country, latitude, and longitude. You will also have to provide the billing address for the contact. Lastly, you'll add additional contact information. This includes the source through which the contact was acquired, any applicable tax details, and any special instructions related to the contact. Once you have filled in all the necessary details, click on the Save Contact button. Your new contact will now be added to KickServe, and you can view or manage it from the customer's page. Understanding these steps ensures your ability to keep your customer management organized and efficient. Adding contacts in KickServe allows you to keep all your client information in one place, making it easier to manage appointments, billing, and any other customer-related tasks. Next, let's see how to add a job in KickServe. Knowing how to add a job in KickServe is vital to managing your workflow and ensuring smooth operations. Each job you add represents a task assigned to an employee or a team, making it an integral part of your business management. To add a job in KickServe, start by clicking on the Jobs tab on the left vertical menu. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Jobs option. This will bring you to the Jobs page, where you can view all existing jobs, if any have been previously added. To add a new job, locate the Add Job button at the top right corner of the screen and click on it. This action will take you to the new job form, which you'll need to fill out with the relevant details. Under the General Information section, you'll have to provide specifics about the service, a description of the job, and a detailed scope of work. This data gives a comprehensive outline of the job's nature and what it entails. The next section is Who is this for? Here, you will need to select a contact associated with the job from your list of contacts. This contact could be a customer or a company for whom the job is being executed. In the Additional Information section, you'll be required to provide specific details like the PO or purchase order number associated with the job. After filling out all the necessary sections, click on the Create Job button at the bottom of the form. The job will now be created and you can view or manage it from the Jobs page. By understanding these steps, you can ensure organized and efficient job management. Adding jobs in KickServe allows you to keep track of all your tasks in one place, making it easy to manage workflow, scheduling, and job-related tasks. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using KickServe. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take care.